So now it's time to work on the simple page. And in the simple page, I'm gonna be displaying a simple calculator, a simple design that would let the user uh, do some operations such as subtraction, uh, addition, uh, division, and multiplication. So in order to do that, we need to add some designs, obviously, and, um, and let the user uh, click on a button to do that uh, or these operations. So in this simple.html, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to add that design. First of all, I'm going to be displaying a kind of a block here that displays this is a calculator or our brand, our brand name and stuff like that. So that can be done by using what's called the uh, Jumptron uh, class given by uh, Bootstrap. So here what I'm going to do is that I'm going to remove this h1 and then instead I'm going to add here I'm going to add a dev dev and inside that dev I am going to uh, add another dev that that's going to contain the uh, brand name or a message just a message to let our design uh, and uh, and uh, uh, let our page look amazing and then inside that div I'm gonna have two uh, elements first h1 and then a paragraph so the h1 is going to display the brand name and the paragraph is just gonna display uh, a message but we need to give designs to these uh, elements so first of all I'm gonna start with I'm gonna start off with this div so with this div I'm gonna say class and then equals to and then jumbotron and then I'm going to also say here, uh, Jumbotron fluid. And then the dev is, going, is also going to have another, a class. That class is the container. And the container, container, the container is one of the, uh, probably, probably the best class in, uh, in Bootstrap because it uh, kind of adds everything in, inside the container without, um, any problems in terms of the design. So everything is going to be, uh, for sure, is going to be inside that container. Nothing is going to be a little bit out of that container, which is sometimes uh, difficult to accomplish with simple CSS. And um, for the H1, I'm going to say here class. I'm going to say class and then equals to display. And then the size display. And then the size, let's say, 8. And then I'm going to say here cal flask calculator flask calculator and then for the p for for the p you can display a message and also you can give it a class i'm going to give it a class here called lead lead and then the uh here the message i'm going to say uh you can try out our awesome Awesome calculator. Let me now save and um, head on over to the browser to show you how this is going to look like. So in the browser, let me first refresh. And as you can see, it looks amazing. It looks this, uh, this block just looks amazing. And um, this is the first part. The second thing that I'm going to be working on is the calculator design itself. So what we need what we need here, since this is the simple page, in this simple page, I'm going to be displaying a simple calculator. So we need a, uh, a an input for the first number and another input for the second number. And then we need also to let the user select the operation. To, so the operation could be, could be uh, subtraction, addition, uh, multiplication, and division. So we need to let the user also select the operation. And then we also need a button to let the user click on it. And then once the user clicks on it, we are going to get all of uh, the numbers, the two numbers, and then we are gonna uh, perform the, op the the calculation and then we return something to the user. We return the result to the user. So here we need to work on the design. So the design, obviously, first of all, we need a form because, because the user is gonna submit something. So we need a form. And then inside that form, we need two inputs for uh, the button, for the, for the numbers and a, an input for the button and also an input to select the operation. So I'm going to start with with the two buttons. I'm going to first start with um, with this form. I'm going to give it a class, the container class, container. And then here I'm going to use a div 
and add the two but the two inputs inside that div. So that div is gonna have a class called draw because I want I want the two numbers inputs to have uh, to be in the same uh, raw in the same raw. So I'm gonna say here raw and then we want first we want a dev for the first number. So I'm gonna say here dev and then inside that uh, that dev I want an input for the first number. So I'm gonna say here input and then we need to give it uh, a class also. So I'm gonna say here class and then equals to and then that that uh, class that, that I'm gonna be using is the uh, column the column large two. So what does that mean? Well, this means that I want this input to have a width of two uh, two units. So the the screen, if you are not familiar with uh, Bootstrap, the screen is in Bootstrap is divided into eight, uh, twelve units, and you can um, assign the uh, a number of units to each input. So this this means that the the input is going to have two units so it's going to take it's going to take two units of that uh, screen width and um, and everything is going to be clear once i ref refresh the page and show you what that uh, means but for now what you need to know is that this is going to give this is going to assign two units uh, of the screen width to this input so this input is going to have is going to take two units of the total screen width, which is 12 units. And then I'm gonna also say here column medium MD and then three. So in case in case the screen is is medium, it's gonna take three units instead of two uh, units. And uh, for the input, of course the input is gonna have a type of text because we want um, the user to type something. Actually, we don't want a text, we want a number. You can use the text, but you would have, if you use the text, if you use here the text, you would have to take care of uh, making sure that the user is not going to type a text because we don't want a text, we want a number. So it's better here to say number because we, at the end of the day, we just need a number just to make sure that the user is not going to type anything else, just a number. And then uh, I'm going to also give it a class, a bootstrap class called form control control and then a placeholder placeholder is very important because we want to let the user know what this what he or she must type here so I'm gonna say here first first number first number or type or insert first number insert first number and this is for uh, the first uh, for the first input now let me save and refresh our page and show you what's gonna happen so as you can see here, we have here an input that would accept only numbers. So if you try to type anything, it's not going to work. You need only to type, you can only type numbers, which is awesome. So this is for the first input. For the second input, it's going to be the same. It's just going to be uh, a uh, copy and paste. I'm just going to copy copy it and just be paste it below, below it. And I'm, the only thing that I'm going to change, obviously, is the insert second number second number now if you save and refresh you should find two uh, two inputs and uh, by the way we need to give them names so I'm gonna say here name and then it's gonna be equal to first first uh, number first number and for the for the second input name is gonna be equal to second number second second number and the name is important because the name would let us access what's inside that uh, or these inputs so now that we have these two inputs what we need to work on is that we need to work on the operation itself because now it's useless we need to let the user select the operation does the user want uh, to add these two numbers or subtract one from the other or multiply or divide uh, this number so we need here to add the operation and uh, and uh, I'm gonna let the user select the operation therefore I'm gonna use the select uh, option uh, tags given by HTML I'm gonna add, and I'm gonna add some bootstrap classes to them so I'm gonna say here class and then equals to 
column uh, large 2 so it's going to take two units and uh, again here this is going to take two units this input and this input is going to take two units and this input is going to take two units as well and then here inside that uh, dev we want select select to let the user select the operation and this select is going to have a class called form control form control exactly as as the inputs and then inside that select we want obviously we want the um, the options that we we want the user to select from so the, the here I'm gonna say here I'm gonna say option and then the first uh, option and then uh, a few other options so here you can say choose or select here you can say select operation or just select select and then you can copy this and paste it four times one two three and four and then for each of these uh, options we want to add here uh, the operation that we want so we want uh, addition and and um, here multiplication multiplication and we also want uh, division so here I'm gonna say division and we have these four options and by default you can here say selected selected by default nothing is selected so that it tells you the user select operation and uh, let's also give this select an ID so I'm gonna say here ID and then equals to um, operation select or select select operation and we are done let me now save and head on over back to the browser and refresh so as you can see now we have three inputs one for the first number the second for the uh, select for selecting the operation plus minus and uh, multiplication and uh, division and the second uh, input